Okay, y'all, look like I'm going to have to change my schedule around because y'all know usually I don't um, do gig delivery on Monday, but I decided to. And it's actually bumping. Thus far, it's been about an hour and a half. I done made $36. Now, that don't seem like much, but considering that last week I made only 90 bucks, well, 105 across all apps. And I'm making 36 now, and I'll probably end the day at 50. Honey, that's a huge turnaround. But for the first time ever, I'm at my obbies for Grubhub. So I delivered um I delivered a Jersey Mites through Uber. And then I had another order through DoorDash. I had Panera through DoorDash. Um Jersey Mike's do Uber at the same time, slightly opposite directions. And then I started off the day with two McDonald's orders, $4.75. And then a repeat customer who's always a generous tipper, nice old older woman. She gave me $9. Well, $6 for a total of $9. But anyways, let me get on in here, get my customer's order, and I'll be back with y'all. Hey y'all out here doing some dashing because the attic that I live with done took off again. This time this bitch done took off on a Wednesday. But looks like I'm gonna now have to start carrying an EpiPen with me because they gave me a shake with cherry on it. And I have a severe cherry allergy, so I got to be very careful not to come in contact with it. Because my type of allergy, it does flare up even if I get in contact with touching it. It's not just ingestion. But anyways, this is $7 going two miles. Let me go ahead and get to it. Dashing on Friday. And y'all about to hear GPS on. I got to get out of this Tiffany Pines. but delivered to another fellow beautician, honey. I'm getting more and more beautician orders, y'all. First- In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Emerald Drive. First was the, the, um, the hair, not the hair store, but it was the, um, the salon downtown. Okay, like I was saying before, my phone started freaking out and started making me sound like I was retarded, honey. Um, I delivered to a beautician, but I did not know I was delivering to a beautician. I thought I was just going to somebody's house and just going to the glass door, but I went to the glass door. She had the whole room set up with the shop. They had the professional chairs and everything, honey. I was like, come on through, honey. Now, you know, due to the fact that it was a McDonald's order, I was just three, I was three minutes after the pickup time, but I don't think she really minded me being three minutes after, because I think everybody knows by now the reputation of um, Mickey D's. Oh, it sent me out back this way. Oh, wow. So, GBS actually sent me all the way out this way at the end of see I'm at Stacy Reaver and Rose Hill MacArthur I ain't even know it can send me out this way cause y'all know uh, the entrance to Tiffany Pines is way down near like um, food line but this is convenient because I'm able to just shoot straight down and just um, turn to the left and then hit up Chick-fil-A Now, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, but isn't GameStop like an actual gaming place? 
for video games and stuff. I don't know if they have food, but you know, DoorDash is more than just food delivery. But it's like, if I was to ever go to GameStop, do I, if I'm picking up a video game for somebody, like I've received GameStop requests quite a few times, but and just right now, they wanted to send me to GameStop $7 for 11 miles. Obviously, that didn't make any bit of sense to me. But I was halfway tempted just to see what GameStop is like because it's like I do got the gas for it. I'm darn gone curious, what would I be picking up at GameStop? But I'm not in the experimenting mood right now early in the morning. Especially coming off of McDonald's, you know, $4.50 for five miles and that's only because it was taking me in the direction of coming here. But this Chick-fil-A one, I don't forgot the price just that fast, but it was better than that $7 for 11 miles. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's $6 for like four miles. in a little bit of talks of what's going on with me I decided that later on today providing that the demon does not take off two days of work this week because y'all know how she do She, although she darn gone was happy that somebody done sent her a plate that she can just take to work so that's an indication that I'm assuming that she's going to go to work today so I'm going to go home and apply for this. Well, I've already applied, and they was obviously enthusiastic by my application, as I knew they would. But this was just one place I ain't, I ain't want to go. But it's like I done ran out of options. It's like I done screwed myself up greatly, y'all. I got this darn gone computer thinking that that was going to give me a, a, a boost because at the time, all the jobs wanted you to have your own computer. Now they want to send you your computer. So it's like now I don't got no space for no darn gone computer. But I'm going to make it work with this darn gone job though. Because I think they, they have the option of sending me a laptop. See, that, that'd be different. Because I can work anywhere with the laptop in the house. But a computer, you actually have to set up stationary. So... Same reason why I didn't go back to Kandu. And you know, Kandu and got a lot of shit with them. Kandu, mm. And then y'all know I'm not even an Apple girl like that. So it's like, uh, I don't want to do Kandu again. Concentris keeps playing with your girl. Concentris, they never give D1 no chance, honey. But I'm finally taking a chance on Sykes, y'all. Sykes has his reputation. And then it was another one called Accenture. It seemed like they're going to have a tedious darn gone process from what I saw. Because everybody's videos were like over about uh, over a half hour to 40 some minutes long. It was going over the extensive process of, you know, Accenture. And I was like, Ooh. and I don't even know who they really work for, what not. So I was like, yeah. Then it was another cable provider company. I, I applied for that one. Didn't get no response back from that one. That one would have been perfect. I think I remember it was sometime in the daytime, if I'm not mistaken. So I've been applying for these work at home jobs left and right. Cause just as I think I I might want to be in a restaurant, honey, the energy just don't be right with some of the places that I want to be. Like I thought about, you know, I thought about going to um, Nico's, the energy wasn't right. And maybe because the, that particular day it was all guys there, all young guys. I was like, uh.
Then I thought about Papa John's. I'm still on the fence about Papa John's. So y'all wish me luck. I I wanted to get on live stream and tell y'all about this, but see with the way shit's going down, I don't even know when the next time I want to be able to get on live. But anyways, let me get in here and get my customer's order and I will be back. Okay, y'all. First time back here. I ain't even know this was all back here, y'all. So this is a place too behind the VA. But I don't turn into the entrance of the VA. I turn right before on Cochran and go all the way down here. So in the midst of, you know, getting this one, which was $7 actually, for four miles. Don't feel like four miles, considering that it's still on Ramsey, but you know Ramsey is quite a long street, honey. So, in the midst of that, Grubhub finally came through with a good offer. Eight dollars, I don't know the mileage, but it's somewhere still within the facility of Ramsey, so I know it's tolerable. And it was going down Ramsey Street, not up Ramsey, because you know once you go up Ramsey Street, you can easily get into like 10 plus miles. Because that's just how long Ramsey Street is. But it's eight dollars and 65 cents for Little China. And it's a pay order, of course. It's like every, like darn, who is darn gone grub hood partner with? Because every darn gone place they send me to is a darn gone card order. And with Grubhub, when it's a card order, that means usually they're not partnered with that um, company. And y'all know I had that issue with um, the last place they sent me to, Dunkin' Donut, and I, I and I and I had a feeling about it. I said, "Oh no, I don't want to go here. It just seems like it's going to be bad." And sure enough, it was bad, y'all. It was horrible. China for the most part they get me in and get me out especially when the agents are on staff honey they have the little age they, they teaching them young honey got the Asian boy up in there they ain't no older than like 9 or 10 honey he darn gonna ringing up the cars checking the people out and everything honey swift If only McDonald's can be like that. Like, damn. You know it's sad when a 10-year-old can darn going to be more efficient in checking people out than your ass. Because McDonald's don't be having... It'd be times when McDonald's don't be having hardly nobody but one or two cars. And they still be slow as molasses in January. Y'all let a 10-year-old outdo y'all in performance. That, that shit's pitiful. So I do pride Little China on their work ethic, honey. They, they definitely be up on it now. They be having their days now. They ain't as worse as their Japanese counterparts, though, where they be having you really bring child. Because, honey, they darn gonna shotgun had me waiting 40, 40 minutes the other day. But anyways, let me check out this DoorDash order, and I'll be back with y'all. Okay, I'm gonna have to start learning how to look at these darn gonna orders, y'all. So I had to place the order and it's gonna take about 10 minutes. There's the white girl in there. I don't see my Asian folks. So you might as well add another five minutes or so onto that. So 15 minutes. So I would have just been sitting, but fortunately I got an order just right here for Papa John's, $7 going 3.5 miles. So the time that it takes me to pick up this order right here, drop it off down the street, come back up, my order should be done. So I'm not just sitting and waiting around. So that is now a quick $15 that I'm about to make simultaneously instead of just waiting up in the restaurant. So I'm now here at Papa John's. 
let me get my order and be on the road and that's how you pretty much multi-dash